Right, with this stuff, we've got to leave it on there for a minute. Can't let it dry, it says, and then we just wipe it off, apparently. Well, I suppose it's taken bits and pieces off here, but still quite a lot of tarnish here, isn't there? So this is just soaking in now. Um, I said it's just, so I've just put it down here just to spray the whole, the whole of it. And actually it is working. I've not even touched it, that stuff. And it's, you can see that it's already started to take it off. I'm kind of thinking this is copper, you know? <laughs> I don't know. But um, certainly taken off that, that initial look, um, that marks and stuff. It's still got lots of, lots of other marks on it, obviously. But there's the brass bit as well. That's it's coming off of there. It's quite toxic. Um, but it definitely does remove this fairly. This is from the States. I had to get this in. I found actually um, th this one in the UK, but this is actually from the States apparently. Flitz. This is quite cool. Um, not sponsored by Flitz, by the way. <laughs> I just saw it being used on a project and I thought this would be ideal. So this has been on about a minute now. So I'm going to wipe this down. Um, just to sort of like, well, that's yeah, obviously going to need a lot more work than that, but that's pretty good. Um, let's give it a wipe. Well, there we go. That certainly isn't finished, but that's come up not so bad. So, um, but that's uh, come up pretty well. There's a few more bits of paint in there. This bit was painted black. I don't know whether to do that again to bring that out or not, or just leave that as it is. I might leave it as it is. Um, but um, I think the best thing that I used was this instant uh, brass and copper remover. That was the best thing. Also used a bit of that stuff as well, which is not bad. And then we used some of this as well, which wasn't bad as well. But again, this was definitely, definitely the best stuff. Um, hose has come up all right. Needs a little bit more of a shine on the bottom there, but that's not too bad. So far, so good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the buffing wheel out and I'm going to sort of buff this up if I can get this to come up really nice and shiny. Hopefully get rid of this, the rest of this black. Uh, shine that up on the corner there. 
the hose connection. Um, and then see what that brings us. And then we've got to try and clean this up. I think I'm going to get the old uh, drill on this and um, wire brush and see if we can get that back to bare, bare metal or aluminium or whatever it is. I think it's aluminium, I think. But uh, all right, let's carry on. Check this out. So this is what we've got so far. Uh, looking pretty nice actually. Um, it's come up really well. Uh, yeah, there's a few marks and dents and scratches and things in it, but overall, it's actually not bad. I was uh, really, really intrigued and wondered how this was gonna come out. Um, and um, to my surprise, it's actually come out <laughs> the way I kind of wanted it. Um, so it's really nice here, bit of brass I think on the back there. And then a uh, nice copper finish. It's nice, nice little brass uh, studs on the back. But, um, but we're not just gonna finish it there. Obviously we've got this pipe there as well. Um, we've got this to sort out. So again, I don't know whether to keep that red or not. I don't think that will look nice red really. No. No, I don't think that would look nice red. Well then, it matches the hose, but I don't know. I'm going to um, get all this paint off of here and see what we've got to contend with. And then what we're going to then do is we're going to make this, we're going to drill a hole in this and make this into some kind of a funky looking light, I think. Which I reckon is going to be pretty cool. <laughs> getting there I might do the rest of this off camera just because I'm sure you don't want to see me trying to get this off it's gonna take me a little while Now who would make this and then paint it red? That is beautiful. 